Hey there, everybody. Pete Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea Tranquility. Yes, it's Wednesday. New album reviews coming at you today. There's like so much stuff that I've got to get to. Uh, hot and heavy with new releases lately. So for the next couple weeks, you guys are going to see a flood of new albums. Uh, I'm going to get you as much as I can. It's just finding the time to listen to everything and digesting everything. Today we're going to take a look at the brand new release on BMG Records from the legendary Santana Blessing and Miracles. There it is right there. That looks like a Santana album, right? There's the man, Mr. Carlos himself, on the back. Plenty of tracks on this new one. 15 songs in total. Kind of a long album, but you know none of the songs are that that long. So it's uh, but there's a lot of good stuff happening on here. So let's take a look at the inside. All right, very psychedelic, peaceful type of album from Carlos and Company. Here we got the booklet. Here's where you're gonna get all the information on who's playing on what song, because this again is another one of those albums where he's got lots of people helping him out in addition to the Santana band. So if you kind of remember like Supernatural, those albums back in the late '90s. Uh, this is kind of similar, but I like this a lot more. This is a pretty, pretty rocking album with a lot of guitar. I mean, there's a couple more mainstreamy type things on here, but it kicks off in style with uh, Ghost of Future Pull slash New Light, which is kind of like almost like think of like the 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 openings of the classic Black Magic Woman, right? Uh, where you got that little interlude kind of letting you in to the song, some interesting guitar work and keyboards and things, and then that works into or blends right into Santana's Celebration which is an incredible instrumental that will take you back to the first couple of Santana albums with some absolutely scalding guitar from Carlos. Uh, you got David K. Matthews on Hammond B3 organ and other keyboards. Uh, you've got uh, Cindy uh, Blackman Santana, of course. Carlos's wife on drums plays throughout the, uh, the whole album. She's incredible. Uh, you've got uh, Benny Ritfeld on bass, longtime member of the band, and Carl Peraza on timbales, congas, and percussion. Great way to start this album. I mean, literally, this will take you back 50 years. And that's a just awesome way to start. So then we move into Rumbalero, which uh, features uh, Asdru Sierra on lead vocals, uh, keyboards and drum programming, uh, as, long, as well as Salvador Santana on keyboards, Carlos on lead guitar, Cindy Blackman Santana on drums, Benny on bass, Carl Peraza on percussion, David K. Matthews on Hammond B3 organ. Cool kind of Latin style rock song again reminds you of classic Santana you know those first couple albums right the more vocal oriented songs got good groove Latin feels kind of rock and good guitar work love it uh, then you got Joy which features a uh, more contemporary singer Chris Stapleton along with the rest of the band uh, you got some different folks on this track you got Carlos you got Jake JT Cure on bass Derek Mixon on drums Tommy or Tammy Rogers on violin and octave violin uh, more of kind of like a pop track I don't mind it it's nice not not bad not one of my favorite tracks on the album not bad uh, next up you've got um, move which features the return of Rob Thomas on lead vocals of course they work so well together back on the supernatural album uh you've got uh, zach barnett also sharing lead vocals and most of the santana band in addition to some horn players and stuff really good song uh it's kind of like a pop song but it also rocks pretty hard and man is it catchy it's not even three minutes long. I could have gone for another minute for this one. This is a really good track. This is the kind of like more mainstreamy type Santana song that I think really works. And but man, it's 2:45. I mean, it's like what are we like 1965 all over again, right? Come on, guys. Great song. Could have done it a little bit longer, but uh, really good. Definitely check out "Move." Catchy as all hell. Uh, then track number six, you've got Steve Winwood making an appearance. Of course, Steve and Carlos toured together a number of years ago uh, doing a remake of Wider Shade of Pale. Now, initially I was kind of like, oh man, do we need another remake of Wider Shade of Pale? It's like one of those songs that, those classic rock songs that just always gets remade all the time. It's good though. You know, Steve sounds amazing. He's such a good singer. Carlos is playing, you know, those kind of harmony guitars and doing all these lead fills behind Steve's vocals. It's a nice listen. Uh, as far as renditions of this classic song go, it's pretty good. 
Uh, would I have rather have heard another original song? Yeah, perhaps. But cool to get Mr. Winwood on here. I think that's the ultimate uh, thing you can take out of that. It's enjoyable. Uh, next up, you've got uh, Break featuring singer Ali Brook, as well as Andy Vargas. Uh, not a big fan of that song. It's all right. It's just kind of uh, kind of like bland pop to me with a sprinkling of Carlos Santana guitars all over the place. So it's okay. Not great, but it's okay. Uh, then you got She's Fire, which is kind of like a hip-hop track with uh, g Easy on vocals, on rapping vocals. Uh, not a fan of this song at all. As you know, I'm not a, a hip-hop and rap fan at all. And I understand Carlos is wanting to get a, some contemporary folks on here to bring some contemporary sounds into the album. Uh, but that's not my thing. So that for me is a complete skip song. I've listened to it a couple times. I'm like, I don't need, don't think I need to hear that one again. Uh, then you got Peace Power up next, featuring Corey Glover, resident here of the Hudson Valley as well, uh, also the lead singer of Living Color. Pretty good, funky, hard rock song. I like it. Good guitar work, good riffs, and lots of scorching solos and rumbling drums from Sydney or Cindy and Corey. Still brings it on vocals. I like this track a lot. Reminds me of kind of like, um, oh geez, if you can if you can imagine, uh, kind of like the old funky stuff that that Santana was doing back in like the mid seventies, you know. Um, I don't know. It's just good, but it rocks. Really good song. I dig it quite a bit. Uh, then you got a really kind of interesting piece on here called America for Sale which features on co-lead guitar Kirk Hammett from Metallica and uh, Mark Osegeda from Death Angel on vocals. Kind of a weird, you know, you got two icons of the thrash metal world joining Carlos for what is like this raucous, heavy blues rock song, kind of like in the vein of like classic Cactus, sort of. I kind of dig it. It's kind of, it's kind of noisy. It's kind of monotonous in spots, like there's not a lot of lyrics to it. It's kind of like, you know, Mark is kind of singing the same things over and over again. And yeah, he's probably more suited for heavy metal and specifically thrash metal, but it's not bad. And then you got the two guys just trading off wah-wah solos for the whole time. Of course, that's right up Kirk's alley, right? Gee, what a surprise there. But interesting song. And it, it, it's really heavy blues rock, right? But it's just, like I said, it's a little monotonous. It's the longest song in the album. It's just under seven minutes. I would have trimmed it back a minute or two. But some scorching guitar work nonetheless, so gotta like that. Uh, then you've got uh, Breathing Underwater, which features Carlos's daughter Stella on lead vocals. Really nice kind of pop R&B song. Very kind of soothing. I don't mind that one at all. She's got a great voice, so that's kind of nice. It's, it's, it's not really a rock tune, but nice song. Then you got uh, Mother Yes, which features Carlos on guitar, Cindy on drums, uh, Tommy Anthony on rhythm guitar and lead vocals, uh, Benny, Carl, and David, the rest of the band. Uh, again, another good kind of Latin-inspired hard rock song. Dig that one. Then you got the gorgeous song for Cid Cindy, which is uh, an instrumental guitar piece with the rest of the band behind Carlos. Great melodies. If you love like Europa, that sort of thing. Gorgeous tune. I mean, Carlos's guitar just singing and crying all over this album. Uh, then you got Angel Choir, which is uh, another instrumental piece. Uh, not instrumental, sorry. It's got choirs. Uh, Gail Moran Correa, okay, uh, on that one, which is, uh, of course, you know, Chick's wife. And uh, really nice there. And then you've got uh, All Together which features Chick, the late Chick Corea, so they obviously recorded this before he passed away. That's just a cool kind of like jazz fusion piece. You got Chick and Carl, Chick's on uh, Fender Rhodes and various other keys. You got Carlos on guitar, Cindy, Benny, Carl, and David. Really interesting hearing Chick playing with the Santana band. Uh, I know those guys were, oh, we were longtime friends, and uh, I, I would have loved to have heard them do more over the years, right? Uh, and then you've got Ghost of Future Pull 2, which is a just quick little kind of instrumental thing to kind of finish out the album. So, uh, yeah, there you have it. I dig this album. It's quite good. Blessing and Miracles from Santana. Let's put our booklet back in there. 
A lot of guitar on this. A lot of different flavors. It's not overly commercial and poppy, which, you know, the last time he did this kind of, uh, you know, these kind of things, they usually get mixed results when he does these big time collaborations. But the, 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 the Santana band is here intact with some guest stars here and there. But for the most part, a lot of different flavors on here. But great guitar work for the most part, like, 80 85 percent of this to me anyway is really good very interesting a couple tracks are kind of like throwaway for me but with 15 songs you're going to get that but yeah i recommend this this is good stuff so uh blessings and miracles from santana check it out if you haven't already this is on the web at www.catranquility.org we're on facebook we're on twitter of course we are on youtube all the damn time stay tuned for more stuff here on the channel today new album review days we've got some other interesting ones coming up so uh don't miss out make sure you hit that notification bell if you haven't already if you're a subscriber this way you get alerted of all of our videos as we post them uh so uh, you don't want to miss a single one of them so thanks for watching i am pete see you real soon here on the channel take care Bye bye